Hello everyone, welcome to a uh, special request reading, I guess you could say, about a very recent case. Natisha Lattimore and her son Nilo went missing December 4th, at least that's when they were last seen. And a few days later, roughly around the 11th or 12th, uh, the mother was found in the Ohio River but Nilo was nowhere to be seen. They suspect that the ex-boyfriend Deshaun Brown is definitely involved, that he is the one who uh, killed the mother, but they don't know where Nilo is and they think maybe they're also somewhere in the river or in that vicinity because that's where the mother was found or maybe the child was given away or sold off to somebody else and they requested that we do a reading on that so we're going to take a look what we can see with the tarot. We've got two decks here as per usual. We're going to start off with the vice versa deck which has the two different sides. We can take a look at multiple sides of an issue and afterwards we're also going to use the angel tarot deck which are these guys with this sort of imagery. So uh, as per usual I'm an intuitive reader so I'm just going to start shuffling the cards and then as soon as we get a bunch of cards here we're going to take a look what we uh, see, at least what I see I'll tell you that. Of course if you have any other interpretation of the cards that might also be helpful make sure to post that in the comment section below and hopefully we'll find something out. So let's just start shuffling and see what we get. Okay, so we got a lot of cards, we didn't have to shuffle very long. A lot of cards came falling out in quick succession and in piles as well, not just one or two like we usually get. So there's a lot of energy being thrown into this reading and so let's take a look what we've got. Uh, the first line I already kind of looked at uh, real quick and it looks to me like a lead up to the events almost up to here I would say where uh, the mother at the very least lost her life. I don't really know exactly, I'm thinking that this is perhaps the perpetrator whom they suspect now is the ex-boyfriend but we don't know that for sure at least I don't know that for sure so I'm gonna say this might be the perpetrator who uh, was looking out at a fairly bleak landscape as you can see it's almost like a moon-like landscape it's gloomy there's nothing growing there it's just rocks and dirt and dust and the person on the horse is also not looking too energetic about it. His wealth, whatever wealth he may have, is being ignored. It just hangs off the side of the horse. They're not doing anything in that particular. So this is somebody who sees no way out or some type of uh, hopeless situation, something along those lines. Next to that we see the Empress in reverse and this actually strikes me as uh, him having called out to somebody who may have wanted to nurture him or whom he hoped would nurture him and they said no and then that didn't quite work out. We do have here the High Priestess. Somebody who usually is more of a um, spiritual type of person, uh, somebody who tends to be kind of meditative, but they could also feel like they are in like a higher spiritual realm, almost like uh, they know something that other people don't. And perhaps because they are, of course, the holders of some type of key, this could reference that only this person knows exactly what happened next, but it might be referencing or actually related to this page of pentacles and the act itself because the page of pentacles is something that is very uh, youthful very brash and I see in combination with the pentacles and the devil here that maybe there was some spending being done or there was a need for money in order to perhaps entertain some type of a want or need or an addiction or something along those lines because the devil tends to be like an enslavement addiction type of thing so maybe uh, they also, aside from just wanting some nurturing, uh, needed to nurture something else on this end right here. So that was like a conflict perhaps that was playing out between the two and they already had certain thoughts and feelings because the it's not necessarily the moon card, the high priestess, but it kind of, to me, it always has a little bit of a relation to that because even though the high priestess normally is somebody who's very wise, etc., it's also somebody who has a lot of secrets. And I think they may have had pre-planned something or at least had some type of backup plan like okay if they don't give me what I want immediately, if they don't take care of me in the way that I want, I'll find some other way. Like that type of thing. 
we have here the hermit whom even though it is nighttime and the moon is very bright he is still holding up a lantern to uh, light the way and it's not actually that dark even if you look at the mountains in the background they are already kind of being lit up just by uh, the moon so maybe this person is trying to cast extra light in something trying to uh, because the moon, uh, the moon, the card is, like I said earlier with the High Priestess, a secret card. And I think in this case, the Hermit is trying to find his way through the secrets. Trying to figure out what's happening. This could be the people involved with the investigation. If there is indeed still people looking. I believe they actually didn't. The comment uh, said something about there being a cancellation of the search or something because of the coronavirus. So there's like a whole, oh, we can't go out now because it's dangerous. Uh, I don't know how many people they are planning on sending out there in one go. Maybe uh, they want to keep a uh, six foot distance. I don't know. Either way, this could be somebody who is still looking regardless. And they might be looking on their own because of the coronavirus thing. This allows people from going out there in droves. Then perhaps this person is doing it on their own time and by themselves, perhaps. We also see here the Six of Swords. And Six of Swords, as you can see, is a person sitting in a boat on the water. Now, I read that she was found around the Ohio River. I am assuming that she was uh, disposed of in the Ohio River and then perhaps ended up on a bank or something. But uh, this is, I think, a reference to the mother at the very least. Like, she ended up in the river and the Six of Swords, well, it's usually more of a traveling or letting other people guide you down your path type of thing because there is somebody in control of the boat who is not the person there in reverse i would say end of the road in that sense like the guiding that was being done was definitely not something that you wanted and there wasn't much control over that at all and now we have a double row of cards because we got so much stuff here let's see who we got this is the five of swords so this is definitely the conflict once again now i don't know Look, we got this one over here. These are right next to each other. We got a few confusing cards here. I'll get to them in a moment. But I'm thinking uh, the same questions that people have now about where Nilo might be. Is he uh, dead somewhere in the river or is he being sold off? I think the person who did this had that similar train of thought like uh, before he took the action. So it's like, hey, uh, what shall I do with this kid now? Um, should I dispose of them? And if so, how can I do that? And they really spent some time thinking about it. And the Ace of Swords is usually like a, a new idea or something like that. So maybe they spent some time deciding this. And once they finally defeated one of the other options in their mind, they were like, okay, this is what we're going to do. Let's take a look at what that is. So we have Justice up next. She's actually upright, but the Six of Pentacles is not. So the Six of Pentacles is normally a charitable thing. So whatever their decision was, uh, according to them, made sense, but it was not very charitable. There's a lot of burden and keeping up at night, a lot of worry. I see here with the Ten of Wands and the Nine of Swords. So although it's in reverse, so even though it was a burden to this person, I don't see them having sleepless nights. They may have pushed it into the back of their mind. Like uh, it doesn't tend to leave you untouched if you have to do something terrible to a small child, I would say. But there was a deliberate action because that's what this reversed Knight of uh, Wands is telling me. Normally the Knight of Wands is somebody who charges into battle just dust things like uh, almost like a knee-jerk reaction type of thing but it was definitely thought out and we have here this is the wheel of fortune right next to the reversed magician this is almost like an it's out of my hands type of thing I'm not really sure what that indicates they made a decision and now it's like oh that's it I don't know don't know where they are I did a thing and after that, who knows? That kind of points towards maybe he gave the kid to somebody else. I'm not really sure though because uh, there's no yes or no answers in the tarot unfortunately. But it's starting to turn to look like that a bit. At least that's what the cards are telling me right now. He made a decision. Let me just try to move some stuff around real quick. 
after some thinking, they made a decision. They thought what or did what they thought was right. Now, how right somebody can think uh, that they're doing if they've already dispatched the mother, I don't know. You tell me. But they thought that they were doing the right thing with this justice card. Even though it was not a charitable action, it caused a lot of burden to somebody. And they were not worried about it. It was a deliberate thing right here. And then it's out of their hands from this point on. That's what I'm getting so far. Uh, what else shall we see? Let's move on to the next deck. Uh, we'll focus on... Let's focus on these last two. The Wheel of Fortune and the Reverse Magician. What does that mean? Let's clarify that. Two of them can fly it out. We got here the Nine of Pentacles and the King of Swords. Huh. Interesting. Because the Nine of Pentacles is almost like a gaining of wealth, and you see this King of Swords here actually has a baby in her crib. Hmm. I don't want to say like, oh, this is what's happening or this is what happened because quite honestly, I'm just looking at cards and I want to give people false hope. But these two do kind of make me think like maybe, maybe he actually did, uh, I wouldn't want to say sell them off, but maybe it kind of looks like it with these two cards like there. So this is an option. Let's put that over here. Let's see if we can get anything else about that. Oh. We have the King of Wands. Okay, somebody who is very actionable. And the Two of Wands as well. Now the Two of Wands is interesting. I think this is them, actually. And look at these guys. We've got the Two of Wands here. And it's almost like the, the Angel and the Devil sitting on their shoulder. Like trying to uh, figure out what to do. They're trying to tell you to do this thing or that thing. Because they're both pulling on one of the wands here. Trying to influence their mind but they're fairly actionable themselves they are very good at taking care of themselves a lot of fire energy as you can see down here most looks like leaves as well uh, so even though they may have had some time struggling about it they definitely did make that decision and took their action let's see if i focus on nilo being in or around the river. Let's see what we get for that. Let's try both options because there was the option perhaps to have uh, been sold off to somebody and there's the option that he may have ended up in the river. Let's see if we can get anything about the river first in combination with Milo. Oops. What have we got here? This is the Four of Cups. Four of Cups is almost like a not really wanting to make a decision. Could also mean them still thinking about it, like maybe I should, maybe I shouldn't. Oh. A couple of cards here. Strength reversed. Okay, so that might be a weakness. And okay, so these two combined uh with the four of cups let me grab all three of them real quick so if this were the did he actually put nilo in the river with their mother thinking about it but not really wanting to make that decision or a decision we also have here the strength in reverse and the uh pentacles ace of pentacles in reverse which to me strikes me as not having the strength to do that to carry that out and perhaps also thinking well if i do that What's it gonna get me? You know what I mean? Because maybe he had other options. Well, let's see. Let's check the other one then. Did he actually hand off Nilo to somebody else? Oh, that's a lot of cards right there. A lot of cards. The Emperor. Okay, so that's somebody who's definitely uh, well positioned to take care of things. Very influential type of person. Somebody has a lot of clouds. Page of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody's also a careful spender. 
we have here the ace of wands in reverse no hasty actions also no new actions maybe somebody who is in a certain line of work we have the hierophant as well these are all cards like uh well at least the emperor and the hierophant that are people who are like how shall i say influential influential within a community influential within a certain group or a church or an organization or something along those lines they have a lot to say and we also have here judgment reverse so they're not judging that almost sounds like nyla was handed off to somebody who has a lot of influence who's like okay i'm not going to ask any questions uh, i'm not going to uh, wonder about the identity i'm just going to take care of this deal and then we'll never see each other again that's what's coming through right now who is this emperor maybe you can find out something about that the lovers and the star that's an interesting combination as well somebody once again we're back because i asked the emperor who who is that and who's the hierophant the star once again comes forward saying that this is somebody who is uh well to do perhaps and then we have the lovers here again this might be a couple this might be a couple that uh took them in i don't want to give any false hope i'm just seeing what the cards are saying right now and that's what it says to me in any case Anything else that we'd like to know? Anything that we haven't gotten to yet about the case in general? Oop. The moon, but the reversed side of the moon. Normally it's the moon over here. Yeah, so... To me this says, even though the cards are saying okay he's not in the river she is in water by the way um, but uh there is apparently somebody here who took them in that's what the cards seem to be saying i don't want to make any promises obviously uh it is the other side of the moon there is some light here but there is a dark moon in the background that's what i'm kind of concerned with like okay it doesn't have necessarily have to be a positive couple that took them in that's what I'm saying. Let's see if you can find anything about those people then. Oops. Knight of Swords reversed. Again, very thoughtful, very careful with their words, with their actions, with their ideas. Very deliberate. That's the word I'm looking for. And we have the Hierophant, but it landed on its side and maybe upside down. So this might be somebody who, even though they have a fairly influential part within the community, their intentions aren't always necessarily good. This is the Queen of Wands. Okay, that's a female energy. This is the first time we've actually seen a female energy over here. So that's a person who knows exactly what they want. They're very actionable as well. A female at least feminine. Doesn't have to be a female necessarily. Two of Pentacles. That's like a balancing act. And reversed. Reversed Wands. Uh, no, sorry. Reversed Ace of Swords. Okay, so that is. But there is this one here. So they're not able to do much in the ways of speak out the mind or maybe uh, bring new ideas into the world. I think they're in a bit of a control situation, but we do see here the Four of Wands. Hmm. Very odd. So maybe the mother is somebody who's fairly frugal. That's why we have a two of uh, pentacles. Well, the mother. I'm saying the female person involved in this situation. They are keeping a strict control here. But they're trying to make it seem like a pleasant home life situation. You have a little cherubs over here. Sitting there. Hmm. Knight of Cups came out. 
somebody is mostly focused on their own uh, emotions, which could also mean that they're not necessarily focused on somebody else's emotions. They're fairly selfish in that sense. They might want to influence the area. Reversed Ace of Swords right next to it kind of makes me feel like this person at the very least does not want anybody to put their own emotions in the mix. If you know what I mean. But what you mean to say is other people aren't really allowed to express their emotions if they have strong emotions. They're not allowed to do that because this person is kind of in the lead in that sense. Hmm. I'm just drawing a few extra cards because I'm not entirely satisfied with what we've got so far. And I was just kind of shuffling to see what else I got. And I asked if... Uh, we could find out anything about Nilo if they're still alive and this is once again the Emperor showing up we have him already over here so we got the Emperor twice again that male energy is coming in then we have three of cups which is more well it's in reverse so it's not exactly a positive situation we do have there the Ace of Wands, so there's definitely some novel ideas, new beginning somewhere. And the Two of Swords reversed and not wanting to let something go. Being of two minds perhaps, but also being kind of single-minded about something. And like I was talking about or wanted to say about the Three of Cups, Three of Cups is normally like a celebration, three people come together and they have like a party. Or at least some type of get together, but in this case, it's the reverse. It's more like people are splitting up. Not necessarily the party, but more like withdrawing with a new initiative that is single minded. Hmm. Let's see if we can get anything about this, Sean, actually. What can we learn about him in relation to Nilo? Maybe you can get something that way. I keep wanting to draw some cards because I'm not really convinced, like I said, of the reading. Okay, so I asked for Dishan's involvement and I do see here the tower. Now the tower is obviously a... Uh, Fairly impactful card. A lot of people are afraid of the tower. We also have here the Fool. This seems to me like he is definitely involved. At least it was a very big change uh, in his life. And the Fool may have just wandered into it foolishly. Like we started way at the bottom of these cards right here with a addiction of sorts. Manipulation perhaps even. Uh, that they ended up involving the mother in and perhaps it wasn't as planned um, as they may have thought even though we did see the high priestess there like there may have been some uh, alternative motives alternative motives and uh, maybe the whole her dying was not part of that plan that's why the fool is here and that's why the tower is here could also mean alternatively that actually they were not involved because I don't know if he really was if there's like solid evidence that he was could potentially mean that actually um, everything ended in his life as well because he foolishly wandered into this situation perhaps having nothing to do with it after all who knows but the tower is definitely a big life change type of event like something is ending and something new is beginning perhaps also because that eye in the background like people suddenly looked at them and they were like okay this is the one grab him and that's why he got his terror moments i feel like i want to shuffle the deck one more time just to see if we can get anything extra like what is it that we're still missing in this regard Oop. again Again, the Six of Swords in reverse. This is also interesting. This card shows a slightly different picture of the Six of Swords. Earlier we had the Six of Swords with just a woman in the boat with the guy with the stick pushing it along. But in this sense we see a little family here with a young child. And this guy over here is pushing them along in the back of the boat with a bunch of people in the background cheering them on or perhaps trying to come after them so this says to me uh since there's three in a boat and not just mother and child 
that that might not be her and Nilo ending up in the river. Perhaps this is the people trying to find them and this person over here sending them across the river. And these two male female over here might be the king and queen of wands or the emperor that we saw earlier with Nilo in their hands. But we do also see the river once again, even though they appear to be perfectly dry and safe and they don't appear to be in any mm, stress. If you look at their faces, they might be a little bit like worn, perhaps from traveling the entire time. But that might also just be anxiety about how are we going to raise this child uh, without anybody knowing. We are evading people right now, but who knows about the future. Kind of like that. Uh, okay, I think I'm going to call it here though, because we've seen uh, many different angles now. Like I said, Tarot can't give yes or no answers. All I'm getting over here is that we have a lot of Emperor energy involved in this whole thing. The Shan may or may not be the person who actually went ahead and did it. That is apparently the assumption. I don't know if they have any evidence of that at the moment. But it seems to be saying that at least they had a certain uh, point in time where he himself was like the person who perpetrated the actual act and was trying to weigh the options like what should I do with this child and the choice that they made does not appear to lead to death. At least the cards seem to suggest uh, in several different ways that perhaps he was uh, sent off with somebody else. And that's why we have here the six of one, the six of swords, sorry, sending him on his way with the uh, other people. That's a lot of cards on the table. Hope it made any sense to you because I wanted to get as much information as I could. So perhaps it came across very chaotic. And I know that when I start to talk about the cards, sometimes I talk really fast. So hope you were also able to uh, understand most of that. Um, this is what I'm seeing. I hope it helps. Hope you found it informative. And perhaps I'll see you in another reading. Thanks for watching and bye bye for now.